What's up guys, Scott from Axe Overland. So I put a video up a while back talking about my power setup, which was a Dometic 40 uh, fridge, the Goal Zero Yeti 400, not the lithium, just a regular one, and uh, basically an inverter and sometimes a solar panel. Uh, and I had a lot of questions talking about how long does it last in the different configurations. So we're gonna go over that today. So here we go. so first up with anything it's very subjective and everyone's variables are going to be a bit different so i'm just going to tell you what i did and how i got the results i i got so uh basically i took the dometic 40 uh just room temperature left it in a room shut it off for a few days charged up the gold zero completely and then plugged it in and brought it down to temperature which was 28 degrees and then just let it run so uh with nothing really in it so just kind of left it empty and it lasted 26 hours before it depleted the Gold Zero Yeti to where it shut off and was dead, basically. Um, so not too bad, 26 hours. We're gonna talk about some stuff uh, at the end of this, uh, how you can make that longer, uh, but we'll just go into what I studied first. So for the next part, I went ahead and froze two one liter water bottles, which I normally run it in this configuration, and put them in the back, brought the refrigerator down to 28 degrees where I wanted it, and then brought it out, plugged in the Gold Zero, fully charged, and it lasted for 32 hours. So 26 hours without being pre-cooled and then 32 with it being pre-cooled and throwing those two water bottles in there. Uh, a lot of people probably saying a day and a half, not even, uh, that doesn't really work for them what they wanna do, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do to help prolong that and to keep it going for weeks at a time basically if you're on a trip and uh we'll talk about a couple of those in a second but first i want to say the goal zero yeti when i ran it all the way down to where it kept shutting off i don't suggest that you're not supposed to run them down that low but for the uh the sake of this video i did it anyway ran it it was nearly completely flat uh it wouldn't even turn on and turn on turn right back off but anyway done that and it took four and a half hours to fully charge off mains power so four and a half hours to charge that brought it out done the test blah 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 so there you go so short, long story short 26 hours without the fridge being pre-cooled 32 hours with it being pre-cooled and putting two of those frozen water bottles in there which again is the way i always run it and then the goal zero took four and a half hours to fully charge so the way that i normally run it is i put the two frozen water bottles in the back and then anything I want to keep frozen or extra cold, like meat or stuff like that, I put behind the water bottles and it kind of helps the temperature stay there for a long time. So, and then in the front, I'll put any like the refrigerated stuff and any liquids like cans of drinks or whatever, I'll put in the top part where there's a tray or stuff I don't really want to get like dead cold because like if cheese gets too cold, you know, it's weird to work with, whatever. But anyway, that's the way I set this up. Now, I also run an inverter which I've talked about in here before. Uh, it's a 300 watt, this is from Best Tech, you can get them from anywhere I believe, but this is just the one that I got. It was 22 pounds on Amazon Co UK. And I looked on amazon.com in the States and it's $22, so not a lot. Uh, plug this thing in, run the extension cord for the Goal Zero Yeti into here, and anytime you're driving, you're charging. Uh, the Jeep also has a plug that stays hot all the time, so I can plug it into there and charge when it's not driving. Um, but again, you're taking it off the battery. But I run this thing on here, anytime this Goal Zero's in here, this is plugged in to my normal plug. So every time I turn the Jeep on, this thing kicks on and starts charging it. Um, if I'm going on long trips, a couple hours or something like that, it'll maintain, easily maintain, the the voltage inside of the goal zero and it'll stay fully charged uh, if i'm out camping for three days at a time uh, for a couple hours if i'm not using solar which is a whole nother issue we'll talk about in a second but if i'm not using solar i'll plug this into the other plug let it run for an hour or two doesn't hurt my battery again uh, very specific on your situation but it doesn't hurt my battery to plug this thing in for a couple hours charge the goal zero for a while then unplug it and put it back on the other side. Now the next day if I want to do it, I might start the Jeep up and let it run for uh, 30 minutes or something and charge this for a bit and help recharge the battery under the bonnet or the hood if you're in the States. And uh, it works fine. This thing has never died on me when I was out because I keep doing this and, uh, and it keeps working. Now solar, the reason that's so subjective is one, England, we don't get a lot of sun, but even taking it to Belgium, where it might not be a, sun, a lot of sun there either, when, when I was there, but still, 
it wasn't too bad. So the solar panel that I have is a flexible one and it just wasn't pulling in a lot of voltage and I've abused it. I've thrown it in and out of the back of this thing a hundred times. And it's creased and it's, it's flexible, but I think I probably flexed it too much and it's just not that good of a solar panel. So it'll bring in between five to 20 watts uh, regularly if you got any kind of sun and that helps. But if I had a proper like hard solar panel that I could sit out and aim at the sun, I'm sure it would do a lot better because this thing definitely does good work with the solar panel plugged in when the solar panel is working. <laughs> but like I said, my flex one, I think it's about uh, worn out. So I think it's time to get something else and then hopefully I'll bring you a better video about a new solar panel. Uh, Goal Zero even offers a 50 wall one you can buy with this thing. I haven't tried that. Uh, Brad from Trail Recon, he has that for his uh, Goal Zero. You look at some of his old videos and you can see him talking about that too. But that's it that's that's what happened that's my experience with it i love this setup uh again some people might not think 32 hours is enough uh be put more stuff in there it might prolong it but if you got more stuff in there you'll probably be open and closing it more to get in there and get out so that'll mess with the time as well so again it's very subjective but that's just from the experience and the test that i ran uh and I've, like I said, I've never had this thing die when I was out and I needed it because I did those other things with the inverter that kept it going. So I highly suggest if you do this setup, get an inverter, $22, 22 pounds. Uh, it's really easy to do. You plug it in, forget about it while you're driving. I've even left the inverter plugged in overnight here uh, when I was charging up the Goal Zero, forgot about it, and it ran the inverter for six hours, came out, the Jeep started just fine. Battery specific vehicle specific so I'm not gonna say it's gonna work for you so just know uh, test your stuff if you have to but I also keep a battery booster just in case the Jeep does go down from the battery I just boost it and I'm off again so all the things always have a backup plan that's the, that's the goal have a backup plan but it's a bit cold out here I got a lot to do inside it's been a while since I've done videos because I've been working on some other stuff um, I got some more equipment coming in and I'm gonna start doing some other things uh, so on the ace of axe side you'll see it over there I'm looking at vinyl cutters and stuff like that but we'll leave that for the other channel in ace of axe printing so if you want to check that out Facebook Instagram uh, YouTube all that stuff go have a look but as far as the Jeep stuff I, I love this setup really happy with it and I'm gonna keep using it so uh, and I even thought about doing a dual battery but with this it's just easy to take it out and put it back in so i'm just going to leave it like this for now but who knows what the future will hold but that's enough for me rambling i appreciate you all stopping by if you got any questions or comments please post below uh feel free to hit me up on facebook as well and uh we'll see you out there